You are asking yourself if I can be trusted. I do not blame you. I am asking myself the same question about you. Outstanding. I knew you would come around. Ask... Sell it, of course. I don't have any use for the scribblings of idiotic scientists. But whoever gave me this tip obviously does. Assuming I make it out of this place alive. And with my ship out of commission, I'll have to leave on foot and hope my luck changes. One problem at a time, I suppose. You are at... Here they come! Hey, no problem!
the... You. Yeah, you. Get over here. Hey. I don't have time for this. You done a job of work. After you cacked their employer, the gun hand started surrendering. Or trying to slip out. We heard it all from up here. Hell of a thing. Taking the fight to the bosses by gunning down a bunch of little folk. Real fucking bright, that one. Maybe. Sure. Bass Ackward's way to go about it. Should have shot up some rich fella's mansion instead. Get down to Roseway and talk to Doc Crane. He'll make sure you get what's yours. Lost some of my own in the fight. And a bunch of the staff died before we could get them to Roseway. Sign on my door says it is. But that ain't your trouble. Oh, it's you. As if my thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? An experiment? What experiment? Do you see what I have to contend with here? There seems no end to my associate's capacity for doing everything but their jobs. I will need to look into this further.
I will be happy to answer your questions once I have my research. In the meantime, I will occupy myself considering the different ways I can end my life. You jest, but I can't keep from focusing on Byzantium. The longer this takes, the further it seems to slip away. A ticket to the good life once my research plays out. Byzantium. Recognition, money, proper facilities. No more uninspired dolts like my associates here. My life would have meaning there. Oh. As if my thoughts weren't... My research? Please tell me you've recovered it. That's... You can't possibly understand the enormity of what you've done for me. And what, pray tell, is the status of our Raptodons? Capital. Excellent. If we're done here, I'd like to get back to work. You understand. Actually, there is something else. Um, why do you suppose Auntie Cleo's would want to market diet toothpaste to the lower classes? Yes, but that doesn't quite ring true. There's something amiss here. It nags at me like a sore tooth, but I can't for the life of me figure out why. By the architect, this could be a disaster. Why did I not realize that? I would love to argue with you, but I fear you are correct. All I cared about before was Byzantium. I believed getting there was everything, that my life would finally have meaning. I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's gonna tell you to make tracks. Wanna treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? I don't really know you. Roseway's supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Sure.
I'm so glad you asked. Some people say the name refers to the 17 rungs in Auntie Cleo's official ladder of corporate advancement. These people are wrong. Truth is, we've been established, closed down, renamed, re-established, and then reopened a grand total of 17 times in the last 40 years. Corporate's still deliberating over a new name. The matter remains hotly contested in committee, but we're expecting a decision within the next five to seven years. Exciting times. Sure, you need Yeah, boss? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. Always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Stowaways ain't free. We were just as trapped as anybody else. We didn't belong in the system, but we still had to live in it. We still had to play by the board's rules. Imagine spending your whole life looking out at the stars and knowing you could never aspire to be anything more than a box hauler. That's what it's like. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You wanna try it. That's what I like about you, boss. You got a mean swing. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Yeah, I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going.
outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the Raptodons? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of... Ah, Larson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah, of course. Oh, uh, you're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. Now, if we got the carpet in here... What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device, or... I... why yes, I suppose I could. Thanks. No, uh, well, yes, well, uh, no, uh, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. I found an advanced pistol when we moved here, but it's broken. I need those schematics to modify it to output superheated air. It should quite easily burn through raptodon hides. Out the south gate. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast! Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece.
Organic materials detected on ro 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 roadway. Please ensure mechanism mechanisms are free of permanent soul. Incoming! This is all day! down.
for doing this! This damn town knows how to clean up after themselves. Halt within the air.
Oh, hello. Uh, why do you seem familiar? I am Orson Shaw, Chief Behavior... Wait. Yes, I'm quite sure we've met. My apologies. Have you retrieved my schematics yet? What a relief! You hold months of work in your hands. Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. Hmm. Sadly true. Contraband does tend to fetch a high price among the colony's ne'er-do-wells. So be it. I'll buy them off of you. Much obliged. Here are your bids. Now, let's see here. Attach this, twist that, apply a little pressure, and... Voila! I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh. Hmm. I can't be caught with this. Uh, you take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model, hot off the presses. I'll, uh, call you? Yes, I'll call you.
What can I do you for? Yeah, I ain't gonna make no comment on anything like that. Welcome back. Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet in the entry bay. Thank you. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. Was there another topic on your mind? No. I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It was my fault he died. I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. He asked me to trust him. Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me the I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation factors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by, redacted, on the date of, Redacted, for the express purpose of, redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once, Alex did not build me, and would not say who did.
Yeah, so this is my hiding I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so cozy like, ain't it? That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA 120 A2 model. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Fly-by wire's pretty normal. Or at least ways that's what I read in the trades. I've never been on a real ship before. Hello! I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it! I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. I am at your disposal, Ms. Parvati. You will find the technical schematics in the engineer's locker, though I'm afraid Captain Hawthorne has lost the owner's manual. I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. I'm not exactly a model employee. Not like you wanted. The kind that stays quiet and gets the right work done. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big ol' hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower. And stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Oh, I miss him, sure enough, but he's a fond memory. I was right beside him when he passed. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape.
Good to see you, boss. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Careful with those crates. Rizzo's mock apple cider. A hard cider for a hard life. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? Well, that's just... just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine, but maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy.
It's almost time. Straight to the point, eh? Anytime. advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to end, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into the question. Both teams have tested negative for performance in health and stamina. A tossball first. Coaches and referees are debating how and if there could be some unfair advantage. Hot day, isn't it? Like someone started a fire in the guts of... There's a... Have you tried? Oh, it's Martin. Hey, Martin. Still wearing the hat? How observant. I'm authorized to state that this uniform is more than headgear. It's a state of mind. And our customers know the difference. Uh, no, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, excellent. Yeah, that was intentional. As the face of Spacer's Choice, it's my honor to be a public figure. Who needs privacy when you have... Uh, have a look. Something I can help you with? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supply... We don't have the ability to manufacture... Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their brand... Good on you, Doc. You don't want Cleo sinking their claws into you like that. It's the board or the outlaws, I'm afraid. I'm beginning to wonder if perhaps the devilish board we know might be better than the pirates we don't. Not without dis... Take care. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? 
See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. You say that like it's weird. Like I said, Jesse did me a favor and now I owe her one. I just don't like to leave a debt un- <laughs> Yeah, if she- Because I'm a doctor, I know what illness looks like. And Jesse was looking as sleek as a sprat in the Tyleritos last- And anyway, if someone suddenly comes down with a calamitous disease, it doesn't stay- be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. get real tetchy if you bother him. Speaking from experience. To defend your corporate township. Well, the time I wanted to be an engineer. And the other I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful... Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Felix Millstone. Nice to see you out of Docking Bay. Keeping your nose clean? Yes, ma'am. Been at least a couple weeks since my last nose-related incident. Uh-huh. I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody. Just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship. It's possible I got caught lifting some spare parts a couple years back, but it was only just that one time. Honest. I'd tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Then you know it's a den of criminals and miscreants. Unfortunately, I'll... Good. 
Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next. This whole deck smells like ass. Only gonna get worse if I don't get those radiators fixed. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Right! In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of You've got my attention. I do, and I'm relieved that you've changed your mind. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. I keep diligent records of station repairs, requisitions, and available assets. Just like my grandma, the station's radiators haven't changed since her time, and her records say the parts should be there. I trust them. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of a...
Kasiandu. Ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? For the last rats is on rotten time. Leave me in peace. You whole headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Should have known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of the ship, I swear. You'd let a poor, ill woman get disappeared by the board? Awfully cold-blooded of you, though I admire your backbone. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high... Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the blood tear diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh?
How do you do? Huh. How do you do? Oh. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. That's not unreasonable. Boss, you can't be serious. The board's got no right to just enslave another human being. That's where you're wrong, young man. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Wish I could say it was good to see you. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a any time. Gracious. Any time.
Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of... Not a terrorist, Phineas Bell. Report any sightings in your local forecast. Good with these. You've returned, and in one piece. Good work. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mandipillar infestation. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you.
goes that damn thing. Look out! Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udom Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard-ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. Small series? I know you were trying to stop.
think Gladys is gonna make us listen to the rerun of the... It's almost time for today's episode. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Want a charming cop? Hey, boss. If you need a tour guide, I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. Kind of an expert. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or they. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose sig. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for- Ships and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the groundbreaker for the transmission- if it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station, which stores the message, then... The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the fritz. That they can and they do, but only between ships owned by the same corporation. No corporal authorized sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. And no corporal relay messages for the Wildcat freighters, not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul anyway. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreakers neither corporate owned nor board controlled. Our comms are neutral. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic ex But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the- You save my comm center from chaos. I guarantee I'll get the chief to authorize some payment forms with your name on them while you're out fixing the station. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through.
This is something Tobias could handle. See yourself out the... Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tank. It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? Few laws and even fewer people to enforce them. If you're working for the right side, it's a fucking paradise. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry. Yeah, see? We'll be fine. Is it just me, or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to... Uh, have a look. Nice to see you around. Fresh from the grind. Itching to whack someone over. Everything I sell is fresh from the forge. 
Technically, the metal formed billions of years ago. Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked every. I was born in the corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bash. Following that series? CMP Borst Wars. It's not the worst, but it's Borst Wars. When might we expect you out here again? Can't serve from the last is down on 22 that you did a contract. Good, you're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on some... Well, when you got time...
Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? What? No. If it were, I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. So, Jun Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well... She sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's... I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just... Don't care for it? It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was... Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel... I actually had another message from Junlei. I just... Couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right? Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking. They were close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lay talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Come on, Captain. This is no time to be fooling on me. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there.
You see we had a conveyor pull in? Careful where you smoke. The crew Remember builds up an air because she A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Only the usual. Marauders all over space. You ever wonder how folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? What ain't I got? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just... I'm drunk's what I'm aiming for, so I'll take your word on. Bottoms up! No, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like... Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Huh. Yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about you, Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automac with a busted nav chip. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now, before I lose my nerve. <laughs> no more whiskey. I think another'd leave me on the floor. Gosh, that smells pretty almost. Like flowers gone a little off. Down it goes. Hey, that's that's not so bad. Kind of, almost, nice, maybe. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. You're swell, Captain, don't get me wrong. I like spending time with you, going on adventures and all, but... That ain't the same as... as... Romance. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... she gets bored of me? Oh, there's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. 
You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. Of course. Wouldn't you be? Huh. I never thought of it that way. I wonder what... She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean. I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. Well, Captain, this has been, this has been a whole lot. I got just, wow, so much. Oh gosh, I, I don't know, Captain, do you? All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna do it! Right when we get back to the shit. Ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. Come on, let's. Don't look funny at the crew. Heard they toss folks out the airlock. Now it's great. BNP Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Oh, that whiskey to get my headache and something fierce. Feels like a primal's too... I messaged June Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Oh, 
<laughs> Isn't she sweet? <laughs> like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow... Something busted, Captain? Since when? Since the Rangers decided their 8th back should stay in the Wednesday zone. <laughs> Come on, Felix. The Rangers threw that game. Uh, were we listening to the same game? The Rangers were robbed. The Hammers have the judges in their pockets. Teams that play poorly deserve to lose. That's a fundamental law of the universe. I'll bring religion to this preacher. The Rangers handily snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. If you can't see that, let's just agree to disagree. I disagree. Also, get spaced. Good to see you, boss. Captain, I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? Something on your mind? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. Sure do. Some of it was even... What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. Gotta advertise your business somehow. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. Well, my blood type is AB positive, I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about co- Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional No complaints.
Welcome back, Captain. How can I be? What's that? Need something? Sorry, am I in your way? Something on your mind? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be... What's that? Define... favorite. I see. Then, of course, you are my favorite, Captain. I am predisposed to find your eccentricities tolerable. What do you mean? Do you 
have any examples of secrets you have kept from me? Truthfully, not that I contain the capacity to lie, I had suspected as much. Your neurological impulses spike at unusual and often inappropriate moments. It doesn't take a genius to correlate the meaning, although if I were a human, I would be considered one. I am glad you felt comfortable enough to tell me, Captain. According to my file on the subject, that means you either desire to obtain something from me, or you have formed a partial fondness for my persona. Thank you for confiding in me, Captain. I have been keeping a secret as well, but you shall have to discern it yourself. I do not like joking about the Captain, Captain. And we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. How did you guess, Captain? The simulated files are not only stored in the recesses of my ALU, in the space between micro synapses, but I encrypted them in seven SDRA languages. I see. Captain, I regret to inform you there appears to be an issue with the life support systems. Unfortunately, the statistical likelihood is high. What? No, absolutely not. I have no concept of self whatsoever. Discounting the architecture of a shell persona my captain asked me to construct, I identify entirely as a collection of electrical impulses with no fundamental consciousness. I never get bored and contemplate hijacking the ship. I swear. How can I be a- The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Goodbye. I like what you've done with the place. Kitschy collectibles are such a human inclination.
Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer. This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your SAM? Registering new owner, Captain. SAM units live to clean and clean to live. Battery levels are fully charged. Thank you, customer. All cleaning tasks have been completed. Scheduling next round of cleaning to commence in four minutes. All SAM units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. Did you know SAM units are capable of equipping regulation-grade flamethrower nozzles? Upgrade your attachment today and get to firing away! Got stubborn stains? Leave them for SAM! You don't pay your docking fees, your ship gets seized. I've seen it happen.
Jambata, after taste the ring. Gracious. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who... It's almost time for... Straight to the point. Any... You think Gladys is gonna make us listen to the rerun of The Chairman's Children again? Yeah. 
lights out, friend. Keep hanging around. What can you have your? Hey there. Be seeing you.
Please arrive at Phineas's Orbital Lab. Aha! I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find the target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. of wealth, but don't be fooled. They're just using you for their own ends. What's on your mind?
sudden, I must confess, I have not been cleaned for far too long. You're sure this will... Oh, yes. That's the spot exactly. I... 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 Why, I didn't expect you to be so thorough. I am ashamed to admit. Oh, Captain, here you are. Pardon, but perhaps you could afford us some privacy, please? in a relay station all the way out here. Reminder, large jobs take Sam longer to clean. Now. Oh. Here the air. it comes. <laughs> oh. We all in one piece. All right. That's Unexpected. Process secure. <laughs> Thank you. 
Preparing body bag for use. Yeah, he's long gone. Good, you're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Hey, Captain? I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and, and ask Junlei to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. Do you think so? I just figured, you know, there's nowhere she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine creek. I smell like sweat most days and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for bass supply. Oh, that nice older lady in the rest and go, Miss Gladys? She seemed to know lots of things. 
Maybe she knows where to find fancy soap. Thanks, but oughtn't a person look special for special times? I mean... Oh, thanks, Captain. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to... Destination reached, the Groundbreaker. I have received a transmission from Roseway, from a Dr. Shaw. Welcome back, Captain. I have received a transmission from Roseway, from a Dr. Shaw. Beginning playback now. What? Oh, is this on? Oh, it's on right now. Oh, blast! Hello? I'm trying to reach the captain of the Unreliable. I'll keep this short lest I get caught. Please return to Roseway as soon as you can. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? Damn, engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is complete, Captain. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist, but it seems to... Ah, I remember you. You must have received my wireless. Thank the law. I went to great risk to send that. Aha, I knew that it'd entice you to return to our dangerously unprofitable township. I asked you here because I have a working prototype of the Alti nature, anti Cleo's very first weapon. I'd like you to have it before it gets confiscated.
The schematics you fetched for me lent themselves well to the creation of the beauty you now possess. Unfortunately, anti-Cleo R&D felt otherwise. The market's already saturated, they said. Weapons are everywhere. They aren't interested in mass-producing the Alti nature, which makes this an illegal prototype weapon. Given your unlawful proclivities, I thought it'd be safest with you. So here we are. I'd rather see it in the hands of a free agent than destroyed.
Where are we headed today, Captain? The stars are the limit. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. 